And as the Joint Committee on Taxation has shown, two-thirds, two-thirds of the burden of Democrats' proposed new taxes on businesses would fall on lower and middle-income Americans, two-thirds. But Washington Democrats aren't just laying out massive new tax hikes in the light of day. Ah, they also want to hand the IRS new snooping powers to start digging through individual Americans' bank accounts. They want to pay for their reckless taxing and spending spree by treating normal American households like everybody is under audit. They want to treat normal American households like everybody is under audit. So, to review, this has been the story of Democrats' unified control of government in 2021. Here's what they've done. First, they <clears throat> kneecapped our economic recovery with stifling spending, including to pay Americans more to stay on the sidelines than to rejoin the workforce. Then, as working families feel the pinch of runaway prices, they're putting forward even more spending and also massive tax hikes. And as icing on the cake, they've schemed for even greater access to Americans' personal finances so Washington bureaucrats can spy, can spy on citizens' routine transactions. So, Mr. President, this is not what American voters signed up for. <clears throat> and it won't earn a shred of support from this side of the aisle. 